Ladies and gentlemen, we'll give it up for a new perspective from Chris Hine. Am I standing in the right spot? Hi, my name is Chris, and I am a legs guy. For most of my life, I was a runner and a soccer player, so I can appreciate a nice pair of legs, particularly on a lady. But these days, thanks to my constantly seated height, I'm kind of forced to be a boobs guy. <laughs> I, by, by the way, I try to lose that fight, but I am a naturally competitive guy, you know, the staring contest. So I'm not in the, not in the chair because of, uh, uh, for the parking or to check out press. I'm, uh, I, I have a spinal cord injury. And uh, what is that? Well, it's the way the brain communicates with the rest of the body. And there are a lot of different ways to describe a spinal cord injury, kind of like there are different ways to skin a cat. But, uh, but one way to describe it is by calling it either a complete or incomplete injury. And the spine transmits basically four bits of information. Motion, duh. Touch, temperature, and pain. So a uh, complete injury, the uh, spinal cord doesn't transmit any information. Yeah, go ahead and laugh. Uh, <laughs> doesn't transmit any information below the, the injury site, but uh, uh, an incomplete injury, some of that information is transferred. So uh, regardless of a, a complete or incomplete injury, uh, most spinal cord injury recipients live the rest of their life in a wheelchair. So anyway, enough about science. Let's talk about boobs or, um, uh, or, uh, or living life in a wheelchair. Standing room only, pff, that doesn't apply to me. Anywhere I go, I have a place to sit. That having been said, some other people think that anywhere I go, they have a place to sit too. And uh, so ladies, when you're hopping into my lab, just think that uh, my, I might be passing your table just because it's on the way to the restroom. So if you hang out in my lap too long, you might come up with a wet souvenir from our limited time together. So once we get to the restroom, let's talk about the bro code. Bros, you know not to take the urinal next to the guy next door, if it's possible. But you know, you also, uh, this isn't a, a college test. You can't cheat off your neighbor's notes and expect, uh, uh, expect any you know, good results. And so, uh, so really, just mind your own business. Well, when I go to the restroom, a lot of times I go into the stall, but because of my wheelchair, I can't close the door. So, uh, so I'm kind of exposed. But um, so guys, when they come into the restroom, they think, oh, I'm totally going to check out what he's doing. Hey, can I help? No, you can't help. Like, mind your own business. Again, this isn't a college test. So at any rate, at the, uh, at the end of the day, when I'm, you know, fi uh, finished with a he night of heavy drinking, I mean, spending time with friends, uh, as I'm going home, sometimes you might think someone in a wheelchair is weaving on the street. No, it's uh, Newton and the city of Denver. They've teamed up. Uh, and, uh, and so the city of Denver has angled its sidewalks towards the street, I guess to help with drainage. But it makes me seem pretty drunk as I'm going down the street. Well, part of my problem is that I have to uh, exercise one arm a whole lot and the other arm not at all, just to make sure that I don't careen into the street. Well, that's kind of a problem because uh, when you get one arm uh, way stronger than the other, then you have some serious issues. So I try, to, I try to go from one side of the street to the other to exercise both arms. If I don't, you get kind of sent the same issue as if you use the shake weight one-handed or, you know, something equivalent. I don't thought you guys use your imagination. So at, at any rate, um, so there are a lot of different ways to, that, uh, that my perception has changed. But I might mention that, that there, you know, really, check out this slide. Oh, wait. Uh, um, there are a lot of things that, that, uh, uh, that are here in popular culture that, uh, that where being in a wheelchair or standing is just part of, our, uh, part of our, our popular culture. And so, you know, all these words, and I'm sure you can come up with a lot of other phrases um, that shows that standing and walking is so prevalent in our society. Well, 30 years ago, we didn't have the medical technology to keep people alive that had accidents like mine. And it's been even more recent that we've had the, you know, curb ramps and uh, wheelchairs 
that have allowed people like me to even integrate in society with people like you. So uh, when you're going down the street uh, and you see a guy in a wheelchair, think about the different perspective. Anyway, my name is Chris Hines, and I hope you have an awesome Ignite Denver. Thank you. Yeah.